The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge took to social media to wish their nephew, Archie, a happy second birthday. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's little boy is celebrating his special day in America, where the Sussexes have been living since quitting the royal family last year. To mark the day, Kate and William shared a photo taken at Archie's christening on Instagram and Twitter. The snap, taken by Chris Allerton, shows the Cambridges, Sussexes, Prince Charles, Camilla, Meghan's mum Doria and Princess Diana's sisters. Prince Charles and Camilla also shared a snap to mark the date, but opted for a photo without Meghan. They reshared a picture that Harry and Meghan shared on Father's Day, showing Harry with his father and son at his christening. They wrote, Happy birthday to Archie, who turns two today. Dot the Queen posted one of the photos taken at the photo call where Meghan and Harry introduced the world to Archie, in place of the traditional hospital steps photo. She wrote, wishing Archie Mountbatten Windsor a very happy second birthday today. Dot the birthday message comes after a difficult few months for brothers William and Harry and countless reports of tension between the couples. William was reportedly furious when his younger brother quit the firm, with insiders saying he was only given about 10 minutes notice. Things were made even worse by Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which they made several shocking claims about the royal family. Harry said his brother was trapped in the institution while Meghan accused Kate of making her cry. Meghan also claimed she wasn't able to get help for her mental health during her time in the royal family, despite having suicidal thoughts. She told Oprah she didn't want to be alive anymore. One of the most shocking lines from the interview was a claim that Harry had to have conversations within the royal household about how dark Archie's skin might have been before he was born. Meghan refused to say who the conversations had been with, saying it would be very damaging to them, but said it happened numerous times. When he joined the interview later, Harry said he would never reveal details of the conversations. He later confirmed it wasn't the Queen or Prince Philip 